Okay, I'll, tr I'll um, oh, I have to say that, um, people need to get, just stress a little bit less about the COVID virus. Um, it could be pretty dangerous. We don't know. The thing about it is, is that what started this whole thing was, um, was basically a wet, what was called a wet market. And what a wet market is, is it's like a place where, um, a crime syndicate in China, like uh, certain people, have access to like people, uh, poachers in the rest of the world. <clears throat> and they poach species, you know, animals, small animals, and then they distribute them and then they bring them to China into the thing called a wet market. And they got multiple of these wet markets throughout China and Asia. And what people do is they collect these, these, these um pets and either they either they breed them or they cut them up and, and eat them um in any case um it's a big thing i guess in the asian nations to collect animals they shouldn't have access to from other places in the world there is a um 60 minutes video from australia australia 60 minutes and they actually show in the video and i'll provide a link to this video to that they actually show all of the various sorts of animals they've collected in a particular wet market that they visited in China, um, kind of secretly visited this wet market and talked about it. And they show like um, a number of different animals there that have, um, but the thing is, is that one of the things about these wet markets is that the animals that go there are not in their proper environment. They're not among the animals they're familiar with. There, you know, if you can imagine yourself being put into a room with other people you don't know, and then you are stressed because you're not getting the proper food and how they're treating you is not how you would want to be treated. Um, that's what's happening to these animals. And because they're in that environment, because they're stressed, and we know this to be true of humans, the immune system turns off. And the reason why that is, and if you, if you go and you do, I'll offer a link to Robert Sapolsky video, about um, uh, stress, the the portrait of a killer, and what it is um, is that um, when you're stressed, when any animal, any person is stressed, they feel like their life's in danger. And when your body gets into that position, it increases your blood pressure, your heart rate. Um, it, it processes mount, large amounts of oxygen to oxygenate the blood that goes into your muscles so that whenever um, you're about to be overtaken such by a lion in case of what Robert Sapolsky says, um, then you will be, um, you will be killed in three minutes. And so um, basically immune system doesn't matter because it's not something that's going to kill you in two or three days. It's something that's going to kill you immediately. Um, the your higher order brain functions and things you used to think with, and what to do and how to react to things that don't matter if you're going to be dead in three minutes it doesn't matter where you go just as long as you get away so high order brain functions don't matter um tissue rebuilding doesn't matter because something's going to kill you in three minutes it has nothing to do with in the future you know it can put all that stuff off all that matters are the basics and that is the ability to respond quickly and move your legs to someplace else and that's the way the body responds to stress. And it does this in animals and it does this in humans. And when we stress, it turns our immune system off and it makes us a Petri dish. And what a Petri dish is a little dish that people use in biology. Um, they will stick, um, they'll stick a organism in a Petri dish that's got agar in it. It's kind of like sugar water and, and gelatin. And the organism will grow. Um, in that petri dish and then they can take it and put it under a microscope and see the form that it takes but um, when you do that to a human you take their immune system offline they become a proper atmosphere proper environment to grow the organism or the virus or whatever takes over and so in this case it's the virus so when you become stressed you're actually creating the perfect environment for this virus to take your body over because there's no immune system there to, to counter it and that's what happens when you stress. So when you feel like um, it's the end of the world and you've got that spiral of doubt and you're doomed 
and and you're going to be dead you know in seven days and things like that and all those things t put into play you are making it perfect for this organism to come in for this virus to come in take over your cells and put you out put you out of misery you know and um so the thing to do is just to avoid the stress altogether and how you do that comedy um pretty easily you just watch the puppy and kitten videos, listen to Stephen Wright, listen to um, pretty much any of your favorite comedians, watch a movie, um, anything that's going to distract you from this this inevitability that you're probably going to die in seven days or 14 days or in a month or whatever there is they're predicting. Just avoid it because um, Dwelling on it's going to make it worse for you because, as I said, it's going to make it, your immune system is going to be open to anything because the, the immune system's not online, it's offline until you can stop stressing. It's kind of counterintuitive, but that's how, that's how it works. And these and these animals that were in these wet markets were in the same position, but they had the organisms already in them, the viruses already in them, and they came in contact with each other and they're all stressed in that environment. And it made it a whole, the whole environment, that whole room full of all those animals, um, a perfect Petri dish, all perfect Petri dishes to exchange the viruses and organisms among themselves. And the one organism that sticks out and does the best is the one that, that took over here and that's what the people who were who were handling those pets got and that's what led to this this virus and so um another thing is is that this was probably this was not created by any government it was likely created by god if you don't believe there is a god keep in mind that the detail that goes into the dna and the detail that goes into the rna of this virus is highly um no person could come up with that amount of detail, and there are no biologists that actually understand how DNA actually works or how to, to what degree that amount of design goes in there, how it could ever come through evolution. Nobody can really talk about that because it's, it's really a very complex and detailed issue, um, except for people that can describe it as related to a higher being. And so the thing is, is that this virus probably was put in place in such a way that if they, these animals ever came in contact with each other, it would be kind of the Almighty's way of saying you don't you don't treat animals with cruelty, and if you're going to do that, it's going to have a a bizarre and devastating effect on the entire planet, on everybody on the planet, and so. We're getting stressed over something, but what it really should be saying to us, what we can learn from this, is that you don't treat animals with, you don't treat animals cruel, and you don't treat each other cruel, because if we treat each other cruel, then we're going to be perfect for taking on this virus, and if you treat animals cruel, they're going to create more outbreaks of these viruses, and we're going to have seen more of them on the landscape. So the thing is, we need to eliminate the wet markets. We need to eliminate poor people who poach. We need to get them out of that process. And then we also need to treat each other better. We need to change the way we treat ourselves in our daily lives. Um, terrible. We need to reform the way that um, people can get loans, that they don't take these loans that are crazy, that credit card companies are not taking advantage of them. This is all systemic. That's that's all cruelty, and this greed system that we're in is going to is going to um, create more of the same crap that's going on now. That's making people fear for their lives. So the thing is, is we need to treat animals and we need to treat each other better, and we need to do that from the position of protecting ourselves from the virus because our immune systems go offline if we stress. So the solution is to spend more time with each other, socially together without electronic devices. Um, I don't really have much of a family. I got uh, a mother and a stepfather, but they do their own thing and I do my own thing. So um, I can't really stay off of an electric uh, device. I'll be playing Minecraft or something like that. But the thing is, is if I had a family, I had children, I'd be involved with the children. I'd turn off my cell phone. I would disconnect from the TV. 
I don't even watch TV anymore. I haven't watched um, TV actively in like six or seven years. It just doesn't interest me. And so um, the only thing that would interest me is going to YouTube, doing some research there, and then possibly informing people what it is that I find out. And this is the basics of it. Stressed animals create terrible virus. Stressed people take terrible virus. It runs amok in their system. They die. And so the way that we fix this problem is eliminate the stress and eliminate the way that we treat animals badly and, and try to focus on positive with the people and trying to fix problems in the world that make it so that people are not in fear for their lives, so they're not stressed and they don't become great petri dishes for future epidemics. Okay, there we go.